so now we're gonna start the dough. Now this dough, it's very simple. All you need to do is proof it for about five to six hours. So you wanna plan this ahead of time. You can also do this before bed so it's ready the next day. So we're just gonna start off with the 425 grams of warm water, not too hot because we don't wanna kill the yeast. That's just about five grams of yeast in there. You're just gonna go ahead and whisk that up. Let it bloom for about five minutes. Then we're just gonna go ahead and add in the olive oil. You can also use canola or any other kind of oil. I prefer olive oil, it has a nicer flavor. Now originally this recipe would call for sugar, but I started using honey at work and it tasted really good, so I just kept it going with honey. So you could do uh, honey in here, or you could do sugar, brown sugar, try it out. Next we're just gonna add in the flour and then the cornmeal. You also wanna make sure you have extra cornmeal at the end because we're gonna use this on the sheet tray, the pizza dough is going on, just so it doesn't stick. And now at this point, we're just gonna mix it together with a wood spoon. And you don't wanna overmix. Just go ahead and keep folding it until the dough becomes one full mixture. We don't wanna overmix because then it's gonna become too bready. All right, once it's come together just like that, let's go ahead and wrap it with some plastic wrap or cover it with a towel. Now we're just gonna let this guy proof for about five to six hours until it really uh, doubles or triples in size here. It will basically fill up the bowl. Uh, you can do this before bed so it's ready the next day. And then once it proofs, if you wanna just save it, you could toss it in the fridge and it'll hold for about a week or so. Okay, now we are on the marinara portion of the video. Now, I start off with a pan and some olive oil, a good amount of olive oil in the pan as well. We're just gonna add in the finely minced up garlic and onion. Now you just wanna cook this up until it's nice and translucent. Give it a couple of minutes. And then we're gonna add in the tomatoes. Now what I've got here is some Aleppo chili flake. This is gonna add some heat. While I'm sauteing the garlic and onion, I'm just gonna add in to taste. I did about two tablespoons here because I like it spicy. Go ahead and add some red wine to the glaze. Now we're just gonna reduce the red wine a sec all the way until it's gone. Then we'll add in the tomatoes. Now what I've got here is the yellow can San Marzano tomato. I like to use the whole guys in the can and then just sort of crush them up with a fork, nice and rustic. Then we're gonna do the quarter cup of oregano. Now you wanna take the oregano in one hand, one palm, and then you're just gonna rub it together with the other one so you can crush it up really nice in there. Sort of grind it with your hands. Then of course a pinch of salt to taste. Then we'll just constantly stir this until it reduces down and tightens up. Go ahead and simmer it on low heat for about 10 minutes or so. Okay, now it's time to cook the stuff off. I've got the oven at about 420 degrees Fahrenheit and I have myself a really nice cast iron sheet tray thing, plancha, if you will. I'm gonna use this. Uh, you can use any sort of sheet tray, really. This is what I used to use at work at the restaurant for a family meal. I would just put it in one of these little guys, not too deep, and it worked just fine. So either or. Now we're just gonna do a little bit of olive oil on there, sort of rub it all around. And now I'm gonna do the most important part which is uh, dusting it with cornmeal. If you don't do this, it's gonna stick, definitely. So go ahead and dust it, or it'll stick like a mother. So just, uh, just go ahead and just do a good amount on here, just to cover up the tray. You can also season this cornmeal with salt and sugar. I like to do that as well. But for now, it's fine without. Now just go ahead and pull that dough out. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and throw it onto the tray. And we're gonna get our hands with some olive oil, rub that together, and then flatten it out as much as we can equally on the sheet tray so we can put our toppings on. Check it out, we're gonna go over toppings right now. But first I wanna talk about this really nice blend we have coming out called Purple Haze. This is gonna add a really nice flavor to it. It's got some carrot and some beet for this really nice color in there. And I decided to do a veggie topping pizza. So my veggies, I thought it looked cool. It looked like the Italian flag pretty much. I'm gonna toss in uh, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, some yellow onion, garlic of course, in the bowl. Toss it with some of this really nice purple haze all together with a little bit of my chili oil from the past video. Recipe will be down below. And then of course some black olive. Now this is gonna go on top of the pizza. We're gonna first do our marinara followed by the cheese. Mozzarella cheese is what I'm doing here. And then the veggie. 
And of course, if you want to leave a uh, pepperoni or salami out, you can. I prefer to have that in there, so I'm throwing it in. This could be an all vegetarian pizza. It'd be totally fine and delicious just as is. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Before I toss this guy in the oven, here's the beauty about doing it on a sheet tray. I like to put it onto a burner and sort of crisp up that bottom layer there so I get a nice crispy crust. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and heat this up, then toss it in the oven immediately. Now you wanna go ahead and cook this in the oven with some sort of tray over it to cover for about 20 minutes and then take the tray off, cook it for another five or until it gets nice bubbly golden brown. And there you have it my friends, a beautiful sheet tray pizza. Now, what you wanna do when you take this right out of the oven, you're gonna go ahead and do some butter and garlic salt. Now, let me explain. This is something that we would do at one of the pizza restaurants I worked at in Seattle for quite a while. Uh, we would take it out, brush it with some butter, and then add some of this garlic salt, sour garlic salt. So all it is is citric acid plus some garlic powder, and then of course salt. I'll leave the recipe down below on that. Immediately when it comes out of the oven, go ahead and give it a brush with melted butter or olive oil, whatever you want with that fat, and then just give it a light dusting of that sour garlic salt. It's delicious. You're gonna wanna put it on everything. Go ahead and try it out. I know it sounds weird, but it's so good. Now this recipe, this pizza dough, this is something I would make for family meal all the time at the restaurants. Everyone loved it. It's a real crowd pleaser. It's cheap. All it is is, you know, dough, whatever topping you want, good to go. Toss it in the oven. Now this is obviously a Chicago style. It's not a deep dish, but uh, one of the chefs that I worked for, he was from Chicago and he worked at this restaurant called Alinea and uh, he would make this for family meals as well and he sort of passed this on to me and uh, in Chicago they call this tomato pie. All it is is tomato sauce on this type of dough. Of course, do whatever topping you want. It comes out great. Thank you so much for watching the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new here, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh my God, so good.